Welcome to the Catamount Football Show with Coach Kit Carpenter. I'm Bill Mayo, and this week we're going to take a look back at the Calhoun game and also discuss the upcoming game with the Ridgeland Panthers. So stay right here. We'll be back with more Catamount Football after these messages. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. I'm relatively aware the modern world demands fast. My series helped explain much about time and speed, but GigLink internet speeds go beyond to offer amazing upload and download speeds. Whatever that is. Now everyone at home can download multiple high-definition videos, send and receive emails, and surf the web with no loss of speed. Expand your universe. Data at the speed of light. Squared. Sign up today. Welcome back to Catamount Football. We've got Coach Kit Carpenter. Coach, welcome to the show. Well, in nice a different role for the first time. A little bit different, for sure. That's right. So that's one, my first question to you. So you've been around Dalton football a long time like I have, but tell me about the difference feeling on Friday night as the head coach versus defensive coordinator. I mean, honestly, it's really about the same. And we've been here for so long, and there's not that much different. We've right. got a tremendous staff. and. So you don't have to manage the game probably as like you would as a traditional head coach. And, you know, I don't make all the decisions final. We kind of talk about it and collaborate about it and, and, and really what makes the decisions, what's best for the team. How about just in general, the responsibilities that you've taken on now and, and all the things maybe you didn't think about or didn't realize, you know, when you kind of got into this that, that uh, you're taking over? You do. You, get, you have a lot of questions. Everybody wants to yeah. check to make sure it's okay, and, and, and that's great. But there's a lot of people that have a lot of questions. And so that's, that's been a little bit different. Absolutely. And I think some of the things that I've heard from head coaches that you talk to is, is you don't realize all the outside stuff that goes on, right? Media or, or whatever the requests are, things from the school. It is. There's, there's a lot, and it, you know, but that's where it goes back into our, our staff will, will, will pick up the reins and they'll delegate, mm -hmm. but because we've done the same thing for so long, right. you know, we just very rarely miss a beat. So let's talk a little bit about, about Friday night. Certainly wasn't the outcome we wanted. Uh, moral victories are not worth the paper they're written no. on, you know, but I think there were several really positive things, uh, particularly and you said this after the game when we were when we were talking to the team, but they had the opportunity just to kind of hang it up in the third quarter, uh, and they didn't do that. No, they didn't. And they, th these kids have done more work uh, in the summer, in the off season, uh, than we have in a long time. You know, uh, COVID shut everybody down, and so it was a bit of different feeling. And so you have now a whole group of kids that really haven't done anything in the mm -hmm. summer. And so we put in the time, and it was really rewarding to see it pay off. And those kids really played hard, and that's. You know, while you want to go into the game and want to win every one of them, the main thing we needed to see is we need to see if we're going to play hard. And those guys rose to the challenge. I think for me, one of the things that just looking at overall, the the improvement from Pepperell to Calhoun was, was pretty impressive, I thought. It is. And so that, that's one of the good things about playing in a, a, a scrimmage. Uh, you know, I think Coach Chappell has always said you always improve between the first and second game. And although that was a scrimmage, uh, there was a great improvement uh, mm -hmm. from where we were, where we took the field Friday night. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. So uh, how about the kicking game? That, that's always been something and looks like we've got a great, great uh, start to that this year. J.J. is a tremendous kicker. And, and, and while he possesses that talent, he works and works and works. And a lot of times the guys don't see him because he's got to be somewhere where he can kick. Uh, and so although he didn't necessarily put the time in when we were together, he put the time in somewhere, and I think it's very obvious on the field. So from your perspective as a defensive coach, how big of an advantage of it is having the ball kicked in the end zone every time we call it? Oh, it's, it's a tremendous advantage, certainly in high school. I mean, it's very, very difficult for a team to drive the ball 80 yards. Now, they may hit you with a big play here or there, but they got the same kids we have. You know, they're yeah. destined to make a mistake somewhere. Oh, that's the thing, right? I mean, that, that's the, probably the number one thing. If they've got to go 80 yards versus 60 yards or 50 yards, like you say, there's somebody's going to drop a snap, jump off sides, have a holding penalty, and that just usually yeah, just kills the drive, right? It it's does. It, I mean, field position at, at any level uh, is really a key to winning. And anytime you can keep them pinned deep, because not only is a great kicker, he can punt the ball very, very well. Yeah. Uh, and it showed the other night he really booted it. Brady stepping in as quarterback, first start. Thought he did a pretty good job. He did a tremendous job. And, you know, there's times there when he ran the quarterback draw that yeah. he really reminded me of another number 15 <laughs> that we had several right. years ago. If he just had those, after the game. That's, that's right. right. If he just had those black Pumas on, yeah. it had been a spitting <laughs> image of that guy. Yeah, yeah. Coach Long, first time calling plays, I thought he did a really good job. He did a tremendous job. He's very organized. And, you, you know, the offensive staff, I mean, you guys work together tremendously. Right. And so everybody's on the same page, and he knows what he wants to do, and you've all discussed it. And I think you had a tremendous game plan and certainly executed it well. Defensively, um, Coach Bennett, but I know you're still heavily involved in the play calls. So you, so you, and a little different scheme this year, right? It is a little bit different scheme because, we've, we, you know, we don't have as many linemen as, right. we, as we really want. Uh, and with that, we've had to adjust to kind of what we do, but we've got tremendous skill guys. Uh, with the addition of Coach Harris coaching the corners, uh, he's been a, such a great asset to us. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, very good. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be back with more Catamount football in just a minute. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. Board of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public School teachers. 2018, Ms. Risley Lee Dean. 2019, Mr. Freddie Fuentes. 2020, Ms. Ris Teresa Hensley. And 2021 winner, Ms. Ris Jennifer Sumner. Board of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! At Beautiful Smiles by Design, we are proud of our small town heritage. Located in Dalton and Calhoun, Georgia, we serve our community with pride. We have extended hours, including early and late appointments, Plus, we are open Saturdays for your convenience. To see more of our amazing transformations, please visit us on www.beautifulsmilesdentistry.com or visit our Instagram page. For all your family and cosmetic dental needs, come to Beautiful Smiles by Design. We're back to Catamount Football Show. We got Coach Eric Long uh, taking on a new role this year, Coach. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, you know, honored to be able to call plays this year. Pass game coordinator. I've been here. This is my third year. So All quarterback right. coach the first two years and uh, able to you know, take the next level this year. So talk about your philosophy in calling plays. What are, what are fans going to see on Friday nights and kind of go through your your thinking with calling plays? Um, I like to be balanced. You know, so you're going to see uh, running the football, passing the football. Uh, but I like the ability to, you know, make defense surprise, you know, not, them not knowing what's going to happen. So 
Uh, there'll be times we'll be in really tight sets and pass the ball, and we'll be really spread sets and run the ball and, and vice versa. It just keeps the defense off balance uh, is what our philosophy is. I think one thing fans will see maybe that we haven't seen in a while because we were a lot of spread is a lot more fullback and tight end play. Yeah, you know, so uh, my background is more pro style background. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of infused it with some spread uh, concepts and spread uh, abilities, just like a lot of the NFL teams do now. Um, you know, we're probably closest to what you know, the Patriots or the, or, or the Steelers do, um, or even like the Rams uh, with McVay, those guys. So we do a lot more stuff kind of like what they do. Um, so you'll see us with two tights, you know, tight end fullback, uh, spread four wides, uh, sometimes with uh, three, three tight ends and the fullback, you know. So uh, we, we have the ability to be very multiple, which I think keeps the defense off balance. All right. Talk a little bit about your preparation for Friday night and getting ready to call the plays and kind of, kind of just starting with starting to break down the film and then working your way through the week in practice? Yeah, so you know, I always start with first down. So, um, you know, what's our base going to be that week? What do we want to run against these guys? Our base, best run plays, best pass plays to mm -hmm. get on a good start. Um, and then we start just working through it. So then we go to, you know, red zone, goal line type of situations. You know, what's going to be our best plays in that area? What does defense do? What can we exploit what they right. do? And then we talk about third down the third day. Um, so we really focus on third down. Uh, you know, that's, that's the money down. So if we get, stay on the field and get, keep going, that gives us touchdowns. If we get off the field, that gives them an advantage. So uh, we spend a whole day on third down, uh, all different distances, and what, you know, what our best plays are for each, each right. distance. So. Some, some play callers are, are script guys. And some aren't, and I think you're a little bit in between, right? To yeah. Talk about that. Um, I do. I like to script uh, the beginning of the game um, uh, for sure. Do what we, what we, advantages? What do you feel like that gives you? Uh, I think it gives us uh, some confidence because right. we, we practice that script. So, um, and I script it how we can see. I give them different looks so I can see, hey, yes, does the, the, mat, the look they give us in person match what they gave us on film? Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, then it can set some different things up. Um, and then after that, just kind of more by feel right. um, as we go through the game. And we don't always stay on the script. Uh, you know, if, it, if we have a script and it's a, you know, inside run play and it's third yeah. down 11, we're not going to stay on the script or anything right. like that. But um, it does help me kind of get it gauged if they're playing us the same way they played on film or if they're trying to switch it up and then we can adjust. I, I think it also, f from what I've seen, you know, it, it gives you – it allows you to, to take that thought process you had during the week and translate it to the first couple of possessions of the game so you don't get off, off track, yeah, right? Yeah. You had specific things you want to see, and by having those eight plays scripted out, you're going to make sure you get those looks in, in those formations. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sometimes, you know, and this happens you know, as a play caller anytime, you kind of get yourself right. you know, off what your game plan was, and then you're, you're kind of lost track. So it helps you focus and stay on game plan and really see, you know, hey, yeah, we can exploit this later in the game or, or you know, right now. So – Got another question for you. You've taken on another new role now as as dad coaching your quarterback son. <laughs> so how does that go? Yeah, you know, um, I like it. I don't know if he yeah. likes it, but <laughs> um, I like it. You know, I you know, I get to yell at him uh, more than just at home. So right. you know, I appreciate that. Um, but um, but he's thick skin. You know, he get he gets it, and um, you know, it's it's good. You know, he uh, you know, he listens to me to a point. Um, and uh, but he you know, he's working his tail off, and he, you know, he's just a freshman, so he's got a long, long time right. uh, to eventually, hopefully, be playing as you know on Friday nights. Yeah. Before we go, update us on the rest of your family. Uh, they're doing good. My my wife's still principal at Blue Ridge, mm -hmm. um, you know, so she's having another great year there. Uh, and my daughter starting seventh grade in Hammond Creek, so she's going to be one of the the new ones at Hammond Creek uh, Middle School, and um, you know, so she's kind of like the big fish as a seventh grader. Right. You know, my son's you know obviously ninth grade, the new junior high, so he's kind of the big fish of the junior high. So they're they're enjoying it, um, and they're, uh, you know, they're excited, and, you know, excited to kind of get to that next level. My Very daughter's good. a cheerleader for, for the uh, seventh grade team, so she's excited for Saturday, Saturday games uh, you know, to go cheer for those guys. Growing up fast, right? Way too fast. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. I appreciate everything you do for Catamount Football. Appreciate it. Stay right here back with more in just a minute. We're super fired up down here at Cherokee Brewing, getting ready for another football season. Don't forget to come down and check out one of our 24 beers on tap. We got the brewcade going on. Also want to remind you that we do have a drive through set up behind the Oakwood Cafe so you can get your favorite chicken tenders without getting out of the car. Keep an eye out for a concert out at Walnut Hill Farm on the weekends this fall. And also be prepared for our Georgia grown produce boxes with Gathered Goods. We appreciate all your support and go teams this year. I hope everybody makes it to the playoffs. Woo! Hi, I'm Charles R. Hicks Sr. And I'm Chris Hicks. And we're the Transformers crew. 
With over 40 years of experience from brakes, AC tune-ups, oil changes, and custom rebuilt transmissions, Transformers is your number one automotive repair source. We have a brand new state-of-the-art facility conveniently located here on Sugar Road, and we also offer financing for those unexpected repair needs. So come and check out the real professionals because we are Transformers. Transformers, Transformers Transmission and Complete All Repair Specialist. I'm relatively aware the modern world demands fast. My theories help to explain much about time and speed, but giggling internet speeds go beyond to offer amazing upload and download speeds, whatever that is. Now everyone at home can download multiple high definition videos, send and receive emails, and surf the web with no loss of speed. Expand your universe. Data at the speed of light. Squared. Sign up today. Welcome back to the Catamount Football Show. We've got our player interview segment. Guys, welcome to the show. Introduce yourselves, please. My name is Brandon Arredondo. I'm a linebacker and a senior. Brock Johnson. I'm a linebacker and I'm a senior this year. All right, Brock, let's start with you. So tell me about your, your role on the team this year as an as, uh, inside linebacker. Uh, it's a pretty big role that I have. I uh, uh, got named the all-time captain this year. Yep. Had to step into that and it's been it's been fun so far. It was a rough game last night. Got, got a little banged up, but nothing too bad. So what kind of responsibilities do you feel as, as being voted captain by your teammates? What kind of, I don't want to say burden, but what res responsibilities does that put on your shoulders? Um, mainly just making sure everyone's doing the right thing at all times and taking mm -hmm. care of everyone. Talk about the, you know, the, the COVID year was so tough on you guys. Uh, being able to be back together for workouts in, in the winter and, and spring practice and the summer workouts, how do you think that's helped the team, what it's done, what it's done for you guys as a group? COVID has definitely done a number on the football team last year, <laughs> considering the season we had last year, but yeah. uh, a lot of us bounced back and came back better than ever, and we're ready to go at it this year. I think the thing I saw that you guys were just so happy to be able to be back together, right? Yes. And, and work, and I know the, the work is hard, you know, and people don't realize how much work you guys put in, but just the fact of being back together and being together as a team, what, is it, what does that mean to you? Uh, means a lot, considering yeah. we're here almost every day of the year, just with each other and we gotta make the best of it. You know, I'm wondering if it doesn't mean more to you now, because you, once you realize what you were missing, right, as a, as a group, and, and now you're back for your senior year, and, and what a great way to return to back to normal team activities. And I mean, you guys had, talk about the team dinner you had the other night. I mean, how, you know, that's pretty special to get to do that. Yeah, it was a great atmosphere, and just to be able to be, be with the people you've been with pretty much since yeah. you started playing football. Right, it means a lot, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for coming on, thanks for everything you do. All right, Brandon, let's talk to you. So you're a linebacker also, so talk about your role on the team and, the, and your role in the defense. Uh, you know, um, my role on the defense is really making sure everybody knows what they're doing as well. I feel like the role that I play is also a leader for the defense. I feel mm -hmm. like people respect me and look up to me a lot for how much they, hard work they see me do every day. And I just got to make sure everybody's doing the, what they got to do. So that's one thing I want to talk to you about is your, your work ethic in the weight room and, and on the practice field. Where does that come from? What do you, what do you attribute that to? Um, it, I don't know really where it comes from, you know. Maybe just, mom and dad, parents? Mom and dad, something at home, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I just try to do my best every day, you know. Um, I want to make my mom and dad proud. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about the weight room a little bit. We're sitting over here in the building right next to it. You guys spend a lot of time in there, and, and you in particular, I know you really work hard in there. What's it done for you as a player with your confidence and, and your ability to play on the field with, with all the weight room work that you put in with Coach Thompson? Wow, oh, man, Coach Thompson is a really great strength coach. You know, I really appreciate everything he's done for me. You know, um, I feel like once you get into that weight room, you know, you start noticing the changes in your body. You know, you, you're getting faster, you're getting stronger. That definitely helps out um, in the field of play. Yeah, so you guys are both se seniors, hard to believe, right? It goes fast. It does. So, so what advice would you give to some seventh grader or eighth grader or even some of our freshmen on the team? What would you, what, if you tell them something, what would you tell them, Brock? Make it count. And it goes by fast, make it count. Yeah, you don't think that when you're in summer workout your freshman year, right? But then, man, it's nope. gone. How about you, Brandon? You know, just give it your all every day, man. Yeah. Like it's your last. That's great, that's awesome. Good deal, thanks for coming on. I uh, look forward to watching you guys play the rest of the season. Yes, sir. Stay right here back with more Catamount football in just a minute.
Buy from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com industrial life safety and commercial security experts fire sprinklers fire extinguishers fire alarm systems clean agent suppression systems backflow devices go catamounts asa the life safety company dad look i found a lost puppy well i'm not lost exactly but hey are you planting that tree wait where are the flags the paint didn't you contact 811 i've dug here before it's fine contacting 811 to have all underground utilities marked is the law and it protects us all here let me borrow your cell phone dogs don't use cell phones humans shouldn't dig before contacting 811 i mean woof. online or on the phone contact 811 at least two business days before any digging project brought to you by georgia 811 can we keep them <laughs> All right, let's continue with our player interview segment. Guys, welcome to the show and introduce yourselves, please. Oh, I'm Brady Penley, quarterback, senior. Corinne Page, senior, number five, receiver. All right, Corinne, let's start with you. So you were another one of the guys voted as a permanent captain. Yes, Congratulations. Sir. Thank you. So now tell me what that means to you and what do you see your responsibilities as for the rest of the t uh, guys on the team is? Uh, I feel like uh, many people voted me because they look up to me. I can be a good leader. Uh, and I'm a good player, so yeah, I guess. You are a good player, absolutely. So talk about your role as, as a wide receiver in, in, our, in our offense. Uh, being a receiver on our offense, uh, we pass a lot. Coach Long is a good uh, OC, so I guess we got good R RPO plays and good pass plays. Yeah, so one of the, but one, I know one of the things that Coach Martinez works with you guys a lot on is, is blocking too, right? Yes, being, sir. Being, and you do a great job of blocking. Yes, sir. So Thank tell you. me about that, wh how, you see, how you see your role in, when we run the ball and trying to get for Journey or, or Tyson, whoever's running it, or even Brady when he runs? Sometimes it's really hard because, like, you have to run the RPO and then you have to turn around and block after, but yeah. I find it kind of easy. Now explain what you're saying when an RPO, somebody watching may not know what, what you mean by RPO. So tell like them what you're talking about. pass option so yeah. Brady can pull the ball and throw it. So you got to be ready to catch it, but yeah. then if he doesn't do it, then you got to find the guy and start blocking, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Now we play in a, in a, both you guys know, in a tough region with some really good defensive backs, corners and safeties. Tell me about when they get up and they start pressing you, what do you do to get away from them? Uh, I like a move, it's called a double up move. It's my favorite move. Now explain that. Uh, it's like when you jab to the inside and jab outside. So try to shake them off yes, and, sir. and get going? Yes, sir. All right, very good. Thanks for coming on the show, doing a great job. Thank you. All right, Brady, let's talk to you. So tell me about, you've taken on a, a big job this year, mm -hmm. quarterback, sure. so l let's hear your thoughts on that. Uh, it's different, playing safety for two years and then having to jump in the quarterback position is a little different, but. How do you think, how do you think being a defensive back for, for those years, how does that help you as a quarterback? Uh, it helps me a lot because I can read the defense and I know what the safety's thinking because I used to do it for two years, so. That helps a lot with reading the defense and knowing what to do with the ball. So Coach Long does a great job working with you guys. Talk about your process during the week of, of getting ready for game preparation and getting ready to play on Friday night. Well, Mondays we normally will put in a few plays and change some things up if we need to. And then Tuesday through Thursday we're just getting everything down perfect and looking at the defenses they run and trying to read those. And, just getting everything ready for Friday. How about the mental aspect for you as a quarterback? So much of that, you know, every position has a mental aspect to it, but there's a whole lot with, with playing quarterback. Talk about that. Uh, yeah, when I played safety, you, I could play mad. and once, If I was mad, I played better. Right. But now at quarterback, since I'm, you get mad, you got to kind of tone it down. You got to be an even kill at quarterback. Now, both you guys are really good athletes, and you're, do, you're both doing some double duty on defense. Karim, talk about your, uh, some of your cornerback play. Uh, this is my first year, but I like it. I love tackling. Yeah? Yeah. Corner. You made a big one uh, Friday night against Calhoun. That was a great tackle. Yes, sir. Thank you. So what, what's your favorite part of, of being a corner? Uh, I feel like 
corner is really easy if you're really an athlete. But Coach uh, Harris, he coaches well, so I really understand it now. So you think being a receiver that th for so long does that help you as a corner? Do you look at yeah. the you can look at the receiver and yes, maybe get an idea on what he's going to be doing? Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely, Brady. definitely. Brady, how about you? Transition and making that transition coming to the sidelines as a as a quarterback and then immediately back on the field as a safety. Well, that helps because if you got a bad series, it gets your mind off of it and you don't think about it. You got there right. and play safety. You don't have to listen to Coach Long yeah. <laughs> showing you on the iPad. Hey, why didn't you do this? You're out there playing safety, running yeah. around, right? Very good. All right, guys, well, thanks for coming on. You're Doing a great job. Look forward to seeing you the rest of the season. Okay. Stay right here back with more Cat at Mount Football in just a minute. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. All right, Coach, taking a look at the highlights from Friday night. It was a little bit warm start to the game, wasn't it? It, it was. It was warm. A little swampy. It did. We tried to stay inside as long as we could. It was so nice and right. cool in there. Captain's coming out, and here comes the team. Great crowd at Calhoun, both sides. It is. I mean, what a great way to start uh, the football. I mean, it's a perfect high school football game. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. One of the things I like about Calhoun and Harmon Field, no track. That is, it's no track now. There's no space on That's the sidelines. No um, had, had a little scare there on the opening of the game, but we got the we got it, and pretty good protection here to start. We did. This is a great catch and a great a great read. Absolutely. Uh, by Brady. Ended up having to punt. They did. You know, Brock had a great nine, and there he is right there. He had a great nine, probably the best nine he's had of his mm -hmm. career. And uh, Blake done a great job, and you got Bentley Myers right there that also did a great job to slow him down. So so. Uh, Brock could run in and behind him. Again, the same guys, you know, just doing what they've been coached to do. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite plays right there, the sack by uh, Brandon Aaron We call him Bulldog. Uh, he was on the server earlier. Uh, he did yep. a great job right there. He got around the corner on that tackle fast, didn't he? He did. He's, he's a quick, quick guy. Here's a replay of it. It is. And you got a lot of guys doing their job, you know, holding the guy in uh, and allowing him an opportunity to do that. Absolutely. Brandon's been a fixture around here for about the last four years. Done a really good job. Yes, he has. Back on offense and a little inside zone here, and there's Johnny. This play inside zone is built for number seven. Without a doubt. I'm telling you, he can absolutely run. But you can see there uh, what the being back in the weight room has allowed absolutely. us to do. Uh, good job by the offensive line of getting out and getting their hats on people and then just getting them downfield and blocking there. Yep. 78, I mean, 79 and 60. Yep. Uh, you know, we challenged them to do that, and that's what they did. Good read. Here and a good throw. Absolutely. Out to Warner. Nice, nice job of running after the catch, too. Great call by Coach Long here on the screen. It is a great call. And as a defensive coach, I hate that stupid play. Yep. You know, but it's good because it's effective. And it? Well, it gets those defensive linemen all, all salivating. Now, for those that don't know at home, that's what it looks like to be under center. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so Hopefully, that's, we'll get back to more of that. That's right. A whole lot of uh, tight ends. But, you know, it's great to see these kids excited. You know, it's putting in the work that they yep. put in and, and to be rewarded. Down the goal line, running power. Kid didn't get any better under center. Good 
snap, hold, and kick right there. Starting fast. That's one thing we've been talking about, right? And it is. a great example of starting fast. It is. And you try to wonder, you know, how difficult is it to start fast? You know, it's, but we have to practice it. And, yes. and certainly uh, the emotion of this game helped. Absolutely. They do such a good job of the RPO because they've done it for so long. Uh, you know, that little fake on the zone right there, and he just throws it out there. Uh, Bentley Myers does a great job mm -hmm. of covering him. Um, he loses him there, but everybody's in place to do what they need to do. Good tackle. Touchdown there just happens. We show every score, typically, whether it's Brandon puts them both on there. This is a great kick out of our punter. Uh, you know, he goes down, he kicks it, uh, and it's hard. It's hard to, to catch them when they go so high. Uh, you know, they'd bobble the ball there, but we've got guys covering down the field, uh, and we punch it out and get it back. Yeah, great momentum hustle. Changer. Yes, absolutely. Great hustle by those guys. That's a that's a tough team. That punt team is probably the first team they'll get you beat, right? Absolutely, Will. And right there, we've we've got our best players, and even one of your tackles yep. is on there, uh, and he's the one that recovered this fumble. That's right, Damian Vital. That's right. And so you love to see those guys get down the field and do what they need There's to do. Jackson Blackwood in there. Good job out of those guys. Well, that, that gets the sideline going too, and when, when you get a uh, turnover like that, it did. And the crowd was great the other mm -hmm. night. Uh, you know, it was almost like a playoff atmosphere. Absolutely. Coming back, running a little power action again. And that's what he can do. He can run, he can take the power. He's so fast he can yes, get around the edge. Quarter change, we're back going with, and here's the inside zone again with, with, uh, is that, that's Tyson in or is that no, Journey? Journey? That's Journey. Yep, he is so quick. Now this is another real great play with shows the athletic ability. Uh, to turn and put it on the money. Well, and I think one of the things there, he, he, he didn't panic and run downfield with it. No, he didn't. But this is probably one of my favorite <laughs> plays That's right. of all time now. Yep. Uh, what a great play. Tyson's a heck of a runner. Uh, and, and to throw, to one thing to throw the sweep pass, you know, everybody throws a corner. Well, they jump that, but the backside post. Coming up wide open. That's right, sir. Great, we great put execution. the sa uh, safety in the bind. Yep. Yeah, that was, that was a uh, great play call. By, another one by Coach Long right there. Another good snap, kicking the hole. So 14 to seven. There's Coach Harris getting the kickoff team jazzed up. Yeah, man, he does such a good job. He does a great job. <laughs> kicking, it, kicking it through the end zone, just like we were talking about earlier. Now here's a, here's a, you know, we had a little bit of a breakdown there. He gets down the field, but because we got people pursuing uh, we've got there and we're able to strip the ball loose from him. Great hustle. Get another look at it. Boom, get in there and punch it out. Great job. I like the excitement too, the guys coming off the field. It is, it, it, you know. Oh, this is a perfect throw. Yes. Great catch and the traffic. And he's able to get down. You know, all of our receivers catch the ball well. And it's not just one or two guys. They all catch the ball well. Absolutely. Now, this is a tough, tough play. One of the all plays I hate of all is the, is the stinking midline. Yep. Uh, and they've got a tremendous athlete at quarterback. And when you play good teams and you're out of position, it's going to cost you. Absolutely. Good throw right here. And a tremendous run here. Yep. You've seen number seven quite a bit in this game. You do, and, you know, and the great thing is you've seen him in different spots. It is, and you know, he, you know, a year ago he's not a he, he's not a real good pass receiver. Uh, he's worked so hard on that. He really has. And now he's kind of a dual threat because we can put him inside as a running back, and now we pop him out there as a receiver uh, because he possesses such tremendous speed. We can get the ball in his hands; he can make some things happen. Uh, he, he just gives you a lot of good options, and here's quarterback draw a great read. By Brady on that, he has a couple. Of, he has an option there to either throw it or run it, depending on what the linebacker does, and he just read it perfectly. Yes, this is great. This is number seven again. Yeah. He, he did a great job right there, getting open. Good job. Here's another look at it. Good protection by the guys up front. You know, he had a lot of time that he that that uh, it really makes it easier on him. Oh, it sure does. No sacks, so that's always a positive thing. 
Yes. Snap, kick, and hold is good. You know, our, our snapper to, to kick is really, really fast. They worked hard on that in the off season, uh, and that helps with protection. Yes, you don't have to block as long, right? That's exactly right. Now, it's another great play by those guys getting there and hustling. There's a lot of hats around the ball right here. Uh, they do, you know, it's good to see such excitement. Uh, and everybody's doing their job, and it kind of works out the way you want it to work out. I like to see all those white shirts running the ball, too. Yes. A host of catamounts, as John, Ward, right. as John Ward used to say. Yeah, now this is a, just another good sign of the, this, what of an athletic quarterback they have, you know, able to scramble out of that. And they've got good receivers, too, and they're able to catch it. It's a great play right here by Adriel Hernandez. Uh, you know, he's, we've worked so hard in keeping him in the curl, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and he does what he's coached to do, and it makes it happen. That's, a, that's our wide receiver, that's making, your wide that, receiver. making that tackle right there. He, he's a tremendous uh, receiver, but he's probably a better corner. And there's our quarterback. Uh, oh. You know, he's played safety for us for, right. for several years, so we're able to punch him in uh, and, and not miss a beat. And, you know, and that was able to hold them to this field goal right before the half, and they missed it. Absolutely. So we're going in at halftime, and we're going to take a break, and we'll be back with the, high, the second half highlights in just a minute. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. Board of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public School teachers. 2018, Ms. Risley Lee Dean. 2019, Mr. Freddie Fuentes. 2020, Ms. Ris Teresa Hensley. And 2021 winner, Ms. Ris Jennifer Sumner. Board of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! At Beautiful Smiles by Design, we are proud of our small town heritage. Located in Dalton and Calhoun, Georgia, we serve our community with pride. We have extended hours, including early and late appointments, Plus, we are open Saturdays for your convenience. To see more of our amazing transformations, please visit us on www.beautifulsmilesdentistry.com or visit our Instagram page. For all your family and cosmetic dental needs, come to Beautiful Smiles by Design. All right, coming out for the second half, and Calhoun deferred, so they get the ball to start the second half. They did. You know, they went in, and they've historically uh, come out after halftime and really played well, and this was, and this was n not any different. Uh, you know, it's another good little RPO out there. That's, That's one of their traditional plays, right? It is. That's probably my favorite play by, by, with the effort of Brock right there, mm -hmm. just running down and kicking the guy down. Uh, you know, they're, when you've got the tremendous speed that they have at running back, He's able to make guys miss. You know, we weren't there, and, and against a good team, it cost you. Yep. Good patience by Brady right there. Yes. Unfortunately, he was out of bounds and have to kick it. It's another good kick, another kind of pin him in there, so we're able to contain him well. You know, it's just tough down there on the goal line when you just don't have media defensive linemen, it makes it tough. But uh, those guys fight and fight and fight, and, and uh, eventually you break. So I think at this point, a couple of quick touchdowns by them, things going bad. This is when probably I was most proud of our team right here. Absolutely. You know, they scored 21 points in the yeah. third quarter. Uh, and, and, you know, our guys never lost the fight. They kept fighting to the bitter end. But it also helped we started making plays. And once Absolutely. you kind of continue to make plays, you get excitement back. Still had a lot of time right there. He's able to scramble around and make a great throw. Yeah, we had an offensive lineman go the wrong way right there, and he was able to make that end miss, so that was good. Another screen. Oh, it just gets 
just that was a great play call, just bad tip right there, just a good play by their guy. It is, and we can see the quarterback going over yeah. and covering. Um, it was a great tackle by uh, Brandon Arredondo here on the, on the power. Oh, the old quarterback sneak. Yep. <laughs> they got in that time. Not the first time, but that time I guess they got in. You know, so we're down 14 here going into the fourth quarter. We knew what we needed to do. We needed to score. Uh, we needed to score quick. We needed to stop them. Uh, they kicked it to our fastest guy on the team. You know, I was really thinking he's about to squirt out of there. I did too. Yeah, and that's good hard running by Journey. Absolutely. This is great. Ty Tyson Greenway has really been a heck of a player. He's a heck of a running back. He runs for power. Uh, he's got moves, and, and putting him in at the Wildcat here and running the counter tray with him is really gives us an opportunity and an advantage. And just a good, great job of keeping his feet moving, keeping pumping his legs. Picks up an extra what seven or eight yards after contact. Absolutely. Good Sprint protection. Out. Great throw and catch right there. He, uh, you know, Kareem, Kareem's a special, special player. Good job by the guys up front. Another, another good catch there. Here's Green Wade again you, on, on the inside zone. Does a great job of getting down the field, making people miss, and then still running with power. Gets it down to the six or seven. You can see good push right there. Nice job by Stryker Woods is a sophomore coming off the block on the nose and getting up and getting the, getting the uh, linebacker. We ended up playing a sophomore and, a, and a, a freshman on the offensive line Friday night. We had a couple guys dinged up and those two kids, Peyton Starling and Stryker Woods stepped in and, and played really hard, did a nice job. So they, was, yeah, they did well. We, had, we, had, we played a bunch of kids yeah. the other night. So uh, get it back to 35-28. Does a great job right here. The, the advantage we have with JJ is he can kick every kind of kick you can imagine and some you can't imagine. <laughs> uh, and this is a great example of being able to put it right where we wanted it uh, and, and we were able to execute. And this is great. You know, there for a while, uh, Parker Ockholz had been out with an injury, but he's starting to work his way back in. And he had a great night uh, the other mm -hmm. night. I was glad to see good things happen to him. Absolutely. Come back on offense. Little counter. Good job by Brady of escaping that pressure right there. Yes, and that really just shows what 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 a tremendous athlete that he is. Yes. You know, and, and to while it was a little bit high, we tipped it. They make a great interception, and they get it all the way down again. He makes the tackle. Right. We're able to battle, but again, you know, when they've got good players and good running backs, you know, it's hard to keep them out. They've got a big offensive line, too. They That's do. one of the biggest lines they've had in a while, offensive line, I thought. It is. They're big, but they've got a good coach down there, too, and they've yeah. got some guys that are, that are returning starters uh, that really make a difference for them. So here we come back. Wildcat again. There's Tyson doing a nice job on them. getting outside and picking up four or five yards. Another good throw and catch. Yep. Kareem. Not much of a cartwheel right there, no, Coach. No, no. Now, it's one of the good things that having a running quarterback allows us to do. You know, we're able to sit in there, read it. He made a great read and a keep right there. Good job on the high snap, too. Good. That's now, some, go ahead. I was going to say, something we didn't talk about. Uh, um, John Ridley, first game he's ever started on the offensive line, he starts at center. And, and he did a great job on Friday night. He did a great job. I mean, he was a defensive player for us a That's year right. ago. Uh, and did right. a great job for us. And, you know, it's great to see him do that. Um, that kind of demonstrated some of the vision that uh, Tyson had. But what a tremendous catch what by a great catch. Kareem. You know, he just went up and got it. You know, I wish I'd say I was surprised, but he's <laughs> done that all summer. I know. We've seen him do that a hundred times. Yeah. He's done us like that several times on, on, at practice. And, that, and they called interference on it. That's the double whammy for a defensive back. Give up a touchdown and you get an inter yeah. interference call. That's a great job right there. That gets us within seven. Uh, and again, we kick the ball back off to them. Uh, I want to think there's, I don't know, probably six or seven minutes left. Uh, we get up here, we get, get them down. That's a great job right there by um, Andy Antagonia. Uh, a guy just started playing football a year ago. 
Uh, coach Harris has done a great job with him getting it done. We had no game clock. No, I, uh, the coach <laughs> reached out to us. Those storms that yeah. moved through here yeah. knocked out everything, but the uh, knocked out the game clock and everything else was good. But man, what a great game! It was like a heavyweight fight. Absolutely. We're super fired up down here at Cherokee Brewing, getting ready for another football season. Don't forget to come down and check out one of our 24 beers on tap. We got the brew keg going on. Also want to remind you that we do have a drive through set up behind the Oakwood Cafe so you can get your favorite chicken tenders without getting out of the car. Keep an eye out for a concert out at Walnut Hill Farm on the weekends this fall. And also be prepared for our Georgia Grown Produce Boxes with Gathered Goods. We appreciate all your support and go teams this year. I hope everybody makes it to the playoffs. Woo! Hi, I'm Charles R. Hicks Sr. And I'm Chris Hicks. And we're the Transformers crew. With over 40 years of experience from brakes, AC tune-ups, oil changes, and custom rebuilt transmissions, Transformers is your number one automotive repair source. We have a brand new state-of-the-art facility conveniently located here on Sugar Road, and we also offer financing for those unexpected repair needs. So come and check out the real professionals, because we are Transformers. Transformers, Transformers Transmission and Complete All Repair Specialist. I'm relatively aware the modern world demands fast. My theories help to explain much about time and speed, but giggling internet speeds go beyond to offer amazing upload and download speeds. Whatever that is. Now everyone at home can download multiple high-definition videos, send and receive emails, and surf the web with no loss of speed. Expand your universe. Data at the speed of light. Squared. Sign up today. Welcome back to Catamount Football. Coach, let's talk a little bit about this week's upcoming home opener. Great yeah. to be at Harmon Field, right? It is. It's really great. You know, uh, it seems like forever ago since we've gotten to play there, and it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be senior night. Yep. Uh, it's always great to have those kids be able to be recognized for the work that they put in. Yeah, you know, a lot of teams do senior night at the very end, but I like kind of what we've started doing, doing at the beginning. Talk about that philosophy a little bit of doing it, it at is, the beginning it, of the season. Uh, in the past, you know, we used to introduce everybody. Right. And so that was re really uh, a neat thing to do. Uh, but by doing it up in the, the first part of the season, you know, everybody's fresh, everybody's happy, everybody's healthy. That's right. And so it's good to see, you know, it's good to go. <laughs> it's a good time to do it. Yeah. So let's talk about Ridge a little bit. Um, what are you seeing from them offensively? Uh, so Ridgeland runs, you know, a little bit of spread and a little bit of wing tee. You know, they, they, they've run the wing tee for a while. Uh, they'll run the true Delaware wing tee or they'll go back to the, I don't know, the double wing version mm -hmm. of the wing tee. So they do that. Um, they, they spread the ball out in doubles and trips kind of like everybody else does. Uh, the kind of the biggest difference, and that's probably the difference between 6A and maybe 4A, 3A, is don't, nobody always has four receivers or they don't have four receivers without a tight end. Right. And so personnel packaging is different. And so they're able to get into everything they run with the same people on the field. And if so you look back at their history over the years, they've always had some really good athletes, right? I mean, they, they do, they do. And, and that comes from, uh, you know, there's just a, a pocket of great athletes that sit up mm -hmm. there. And, uh, you know, they're able to tap into those kids and really get them going. Coach Klein, uh, the head coach, is in his second year, I believe, is the head coach. I'm sure they didn't have Difficult year last year with COVID. I think he ended up with a couple of forfeits because of COVID, but I'm sure he's going to be looking to have those guys playing, playing better this year, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, you give any time, you get the time to work in the summer that we had. Uh, you've got to be better. You know, the quality of football is better than it was a year ago. Defensively, we see them, they're lining up in a 3-4, which is good for us because the majority of our region plays a 3-4 defense, so it's nice for us to see that scheme. We haven't seen it yet. We saw a different front against Pepperell and then Calhoun's their traditional 3-3. So it'd be really good for the offense to get a look at a 3-4 this week. Oh yeah, absolutely. How about their kicking game? Uh, you know, their kicking game is, is sound. Uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they certainly don't have a kicking game that we have, but, right. but the, they're, they're quality, they kick the ball well and protect good. So okay. we'll be okay there. Very good. We'll be back in just a minute to wrap up the show. Ford of Dalton, home of the Power Buy, has been voted the best place to buy a new car, the best place to buy a new truck, and the best place to buy a used truck. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go Catamounts!
USA, Dalton Fire Protection, Industrial Life Safety, and Commercial Security Experts. Fire sprinklers, fire extinguishers, fire alarm systems, clean agent suppression systems, backflow devices, go catamounts. ASA, the life safety company. Buy from the pros who know at Performance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Performance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com Hey folks, Jason Denson, Ford of Dalton, North Georgia's fastest growing dealership and home of the Power Buy. Our new Ford vehicles come with Ford of Dalton's exclusive 10-year, 150,000 mile powertrain warranty at no cost to you. FordofDalton.com. Hope to see you soon. All right, Coach, we've come to the end of the show this week. I know we've got several things we want to cover, though. For, so, number one, let's talk about where we're sitting. Uh, we had to move from Harmon Field, where we've done the show for the last several years, uh, because the young guys are now, that locker room is full. That is, it, so, it is. So talk about what, who, who it's all full of. So during our reconfiguration, we opened and had a, um, we created a 6-7, and so uh, that's the uh, Hammond Creek Middle School. Uh, they're head coached by um, George Woods, and so he's doing a tremendous job down there with those kids. Uh, then we have an 8-9, uh, head coached by uh, John Patrick, and so they're able to kind of section off and they've got coaches and, and everybody's working uh, in line with what we're doing. And so everybody's using the same terminology and working. Mm -hmm. you know, so by the time we get them in the 10th grade, they've got to be ready to play. And I, I feel very, very certain that they'll be ready. Now, one of the things going on here, at, at, we're, we're in the turf room at Dalton High. See the weights here behind us. You don't, normally they're over in the weight room. So right. talk about why everything's spread out in here in the weight room. I mean, well, in the turf room. Well, not only are, are is our district committed to, to creating the best possible scenario for athletes. They're committed to the weight program, not just for athletes, but even for student body, but all sports. Uh, we're able to take the equipment that we had, which was top notch, mm -hmm. and we put it in the six, seven, and we put it in the eight, nine. And so we, we vertically integrated our strength program. So now not only are we going to inherit good players, we're going to inherit kids that are in shape, that know how to lift properly. So mm -hmm. that the time that, that, that we get them, we're really working on gaining strength rather than focusing totally on technique. So if we sent the majority of the equipment to those guys, what, what's happening here with the new stuff? We're, we're really, really fortunate. We're getting, uh, you know, new rogue equipment. Um, to my knowledge, the only other school in the state is the University of Georgia. Oh, wow. That has it. And so it's, it's the best of the best. And so we're excited about what that will do for us and, the, and, and really the new toys Coach Thompson has to really <laughs> work these guys down. So talk, talk about this, kind of the strength guys across. You got, you got Coach Thompson. Coach Bennett here, uh, Coach Bagley's working with them, mm -hmm. right? And then Coach Harris is the strength coach. I, I was going to say, talk about how they're how they're kind of working together in collaboration with with those because he's at the eight nine. He's at the eight nine, and we yeah. we uh, we send a coach over there about every other day to to kind of assist and get make sure everything's going the way mm -hmm. we need it to go. Um, we use Team Builder, so the workout that we create, uh, we're able to broadcast it down there. So they're still doing similar to what we're doing, but there's more focus on. Uh, technique and, and making sure we're doing it right. I think that's a great point because some of the lifts and the weights that the kids do at the high school level wouldn't be appropriate or, or is different for the younger guys, right? They are. And e even starting in the 6 7, we do a lot of more core stuff, stuff mm -hmm. to really build kind of the in, in, internal strength. And so as they start to progress in that, they'll start doing some lifts. Uh, but by the time they get to the 8 9, they'll really focus on the technical side of things. And I think one of the things that is different for the 
six, seven, and eight is they're now actually in the league. They are. They are in the, the uh, I think it's the Georgia Middle School Association, mm -hmm. uh, which is a great opportunity. You know, we did not have a whole lot of games when we played up here, but now we've got eight games scheduled. Uh, we got to play two additional ones, and so they'll have a 10-game schedule, whereas before you've been lucky to play four or five. And talk about some of the places they're going to be going to play. Well, they're going down to Rome this Saturday. Uh, it's a great, going to be a great game. We, we went up to Cleveland and played well versus them. Uh, I think the sixth grade went up to uh, Boyd. Boyd, 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 Buchanan. Boyd Buchanan. That's right. That's right. They Boyd Buchanan. Played very yep. well yep. there. Yep. Uh, those coaches are doing a heck of a job down there. Uh, we turn around and we have a J JV game uh, on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, JV ninth grade kind of combined game uh, versus Calhoun at Harmon. Uh, and so there's a lot of football for these kids to be able to play because really the best way to get better is to play. That's absolutely. And, and Saturday and Rome will be six, seven, and eight all playing That's right. that day, Ten, right? Uh, 10, 12, and two. 10, 12, and two. So if you want to go watch some young guys, make the trip down to Rome, stop and eat some barbecue somewhere and, and see <laughs> the game, right? That'd be great. So I know as, as a, uh, uh, after the first game, first time head coach, you've got it. I'm sure you've got some people you want to thank to kind of help get us going here, give you, give you a few moments here to do that. Oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, without the, the administration, obviously, and, right. and, and certainly the administration at the Dalton High School, they, they have been a tremendous asset and, and help because there's a lot of things you don't know you don't know until you, right. you have to do it. And so they're able to, to, to guide us through and help us. Um, and really the administration at the junior high and Hammond Creek because we're having to bus kids around mm -hmm. at different places at different times. Uh, you know, the quarterback club has always been instrumental in what Talk we do. Talk a little bit about the role of the quarterback club, how you see it and how you're, how you're working with those guys. Well, what the quarterback club does is they, they enhance the experience of what we have. So that's how, why we're able to take charter buses to long away games. That's why we're able to eat after the games. Uh, that's why we have, you know, IVs before the game. Anything that would enhance a player's experience, that's where they fit in and they do a heck of a job. How about this? That's right. We got all brand new red jackets. Um, this is something that's has always been an important part of what we do, but it's certainly a, an important part of the Catamount tradition. It uh, started with Coach Chapel. Talk I, a little bit about his philosophy behind that and, and where think, that's come yeah, from. Yeah, like 1964, you know, yeah. it was a this was a mill town, and you either own the mill or you worked in it. But he said, when we get ready to play, we're not you're not going to tell the difference between who 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 is who, and so that we're able to all look the same. Yeah, I think it's something that really distinguishes us from other teams. Absolutely. All right, very good. We'll wrap up the show like we always do and say we'll be back next week. Same cat time, same cat channel.